Hello friends, how are you? Uh, once again, I would like to first welcome uh, welcome to all visitors on our institutional websites, ktskill.com. Here uh, we provide the Microsoft Windows complete courses on latest versions. KT Skill always commit to provide online courses where programming, coding, as well as support platform. Who doesn't interested in programming coding can easily jump to a support platform, Windows, VMware, Azure, etc. KT Skill having experienced uh, trainers on their own expertise skill set, we are always eager to share the knowledge based on past and real industry experiences. Let's move uh, in uh, Microsoft Windows Server. What is the uh, Microsoft Windows Server? It's a group of operating system designed by Microsoft that support, uh, supports enterprise level management, data storage, applications, and communications. Previous version of Windows servers have focused on stability, security, networking, and various improvements to the file systems. Below are 13 of the most common servers that we are using uh, nowadays. Application server, client servers, collaboration servers, FTP servers, list server, mail servers, open source servers, proxy server, real-time communication servers, server platform, telnet server, virtual servers, web servers. Windows servers requirement would be always on high demand. Either you go in private cloud, VMware, FCI, or public cloud, AWS, Azure, GCS, etc. <coughs> Windows Server. What is the server? A server is a computer that is a mean to be a dedicated service provider, and a client is a computer that requests uh, services. A network that is uh, made up of uh, dedicated servers and client is known as a client server network. A server-based network is the best network for sharing resources and data while providing centralized network security for those resources and data. Networks with uh, Windows Server 2003 and Windows Server 2008, 2K16 are usually client server networks. Server roles. A server role uh, is primary uh, duty that a server performs. You should note that a server could have multiple roles. When you are determining hardware and software needs, look at the role, the role and load the server will be placed under. <coughs> Workgroups and domains. A workgroup is usually uh, associated with the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, network in which user accounts are decentralized and stored on each individual computer. A domain is a logical unit of computers that define a security boundary and it is usually associated with Microsoft Active Directory. The security of the domain is generally uh, centralized and controlled by Windows servers acting as a domain controller. Why Windows servers required? The system administrator seeks to ensure that uptime performance, resources, and security of the computers they manage meet the needs of users without exceeding a set budget when doing so. Scope of learning Microsoft Windows Server Administration. What is the scope of learning the Windows servers? Windows Server is mostly used by enterprise level uh, because of the GUI uh, consoles it offers. Second thing you need to understand the market hiring trends. Enterprises are looking out for people with multiple skills like Windows plus VMware or Windows plus automation, PowerShell. So friends, really uh, I suggest you uh, based on my past experience to learn Windows plus VMware to be mastering in base uh, platform before jumping to the public cloud or other programming languages. Here, uh, friends, I would like to introduce about myself, Rajesh Tiwari, having 12 years of experience in Microsoft, Windows servers, VMware, network services, DNS, DSCP, Active Directory platform. I have worked in two, three uh, MNCs companies and work, uh, currently working in one of the German company. 
based on Bangalore location. I'm certified in MCSC, MCSA, ITIL, VCP, VMware. I'm always eager to share my real past expertise and experience with potential and uh, knowledge with others who wanted to seek in a such skill for Microsoft servers and VMware. Let you know guys, the duration of the courses is 50 hours, 45 days, 50 hours and 45 days uh, weekend classes and we run the um, three to four hours per day and 50 hours, 40 days, regular classes, weekdays and we run the classes per day for one night, one to two hours class. We schedule the classes on demand of uh, students where students and trainer are both fit to manage the classes as per their free time. Once again, uh, I request you to please register on below link. We are going to schedule a first demo class on first week of the uh, July. So let's meet on the demo classes. Thank you friends.